everybody. How's it going? Welcome to part four of the MG build. And I know here's what the difference is. I went after a manufactured ring filer because I had to. As I tested it, um, bigger rings probably go on this way. Small rings go past. So the small rings come in. Then you can push in and do that. So I gotta look at the spec to see what these rings are supposed to be filed at again. So I'll get the book out here. Yeah, I try to keep them in the plastic. Ah, uh, the ring gap for the top ring is supposed to be. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, that's why wrong engine. Fitted gap eleven to sixteen thousandths for the top. Second one's 8 to 13. Okay, a little tighter on the. So it says 11 to 16. And that's what I forgot to get out. Just tested the file, fi file fitter. You don't want any sharp edges left. So, and it don't take much to. Them up to the light, closed it. I'll do it again to the light. They're square because you don't want to have it tapered or anything, and you do not want to take too much out, otherwise, you're going to have a problem. And where is it? Okay, there it is. You now, that phone call I got that was the guy on the big block. And he went home and watched the videos. And Yep. He now is caught up the speed on his motor. Okay, that was well that did not take much. Okay, we're at it says eleven to sixteen and I am at thirteen. So okay, I went from too tight to 13, so before we get it, top ring number one, zero, one, three. Okay, so um, let's see, where are you guys at? I know this should be mounted, but right now I don't have time to mount it. I gotta get to work, I gotta keep making money. No way I'm making money right now is working on these motors. So, and that was tight. So, I know you guys out there that do this all the time. Probably going, hey. And the thing about it is, okay. I 
I've got the this side of the ring and I'm not turning away from it I'm turning into it so it cuts in that way it doesn't chip out the ring here so I know I'm probably not explaining this too good tonight Work the light uh oh which one is it Oh, there it went. It just wasn't holding it right. Okay. It closed up. Yep, I did. I almost screwed up. Knocked that edge off, so... Okay, let's see, did I match it? Okay, that's still a little tight. Okay, 11's tight. 11's tight, 12's. So that's right in spec, it said 11 to 16. So I guess I'll go with that. And uh, I'll go through. Get these all filed. Then I'll do the second rings. I'll bring you back and we'll start putting uh, the rings on. And start putting these together. So, alright. Okay, I'll show you on this one here. We got the all control ring. And this is cylinder number one. That one come out right without file fitting it. See here on the end of your oil control ring, you got a green and a red on this particular set. You uh, make sure when you put those in, you got to make sure you can still see them. And then what I always do is go this end of the ring's clear over here now. The gaps here, this way, you come down, and this is the only ring you can. Uh, do this to the others you gotta expand them out. Okay that gap's there so I'll come here. Goodbye. And then spin it to make sure oops sorry spin it. I hope you guys seen any of that. Anyway okay uh, second ring. These are all marked top. But they went up and went slow. I don't know if my ring expander goes that small or not. I got everything out and ready to go and then I realized I forgot something. Oh, I've done this one. Okay. Pistons have all been washed. This is normally not the set that I like to use, but for this little motor. And you don't over stretch this. Just enough to get it by. And since I had this one laying out, and it too, it's more top. Okay. Now if I really wanted to, I could come in with the filler gauges, Mary Asian side gate, side clearance and all that. But uh, this is ready. And then I use a. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to use this one here for a ring compressor around the piston. 
and install it. But, uh, right now, okay. Then also, since I'm getting ready to go on here, it's now a good time. Since these been washed and that, come in here, put a shot of oil there, and there. Make sure the oil gets in that wrist pin. I'll let it here for a second. And also, okay, our colors are here. One, the second ring's here. And then, okay, so I'm going to take and put this ring here, this ring here, 180 across, and I'll spread that one there. Now this would be ready to be clamped up. I was ready for that. So. I'll get the piston ring compressor ready and I'll get out my little boots to put on the rod bolts and we'll go ahead and slide this one in quick. Okay, and this is where I differ too on the motors. I use white lithium grease unless the ring manufacturer specifies something else on everything. Um, I've yet to have a failure because of that. Okay, check green gaps. One's there, one's there, there, there. Okay. <laughs> this is where I need the squirrel. Okay, Oops. Hear weird noises, check them out. Make sure the ring pressure goes down even. This pin's been oiled, bearing's been lubed, and I'm not touching that with my hand right now. Okay. This is where I need that other camera. These always don't go smooth.
cylinder now. this motor so I can degree this cam in. So <laughs> they're kicking around an idea but I haven't got to it so anyway that's the uh, install one piston goes up there and uh, I'll do it three more times on this little motor. All right. Okay, I'm torquing the rods down now. Rods are done. I gotta go back and recheck the mains. Pretty sure I done them, but oops, sorry. Um, can't tell that the cam feels really, really good. Hmm. Nice and tight. So. See the pistons are all going up and down, nothing. And I'm going to point out something. Okay, the top ring is so far down in the hole. It's almost a quarter inch down, so that means compression is going to get down. So these should be eight to one compression pistons. Now if the piston ring would be closer to the top, that would up the compression. So we should be good to go. Like I said, now I gotta figure out how I want to hold this block to degree this cam in. You know, some have said don't do it, some say it's a must, so I've got the tools to do it. I'm going to do it. So, I just gotta figure out how to hold this motor first. And actually, I should be able to put the whole bar, the oil pan and all that on right now. I got the oil pickup thing here, the pickup tube, and I can put that on, put the pan on. That way I could set it up on its pan and uh, degree this. So. Oh, you guys don't need me here while I figure that out. All right, I'll figure that out. All right, I almost forgot to put the distributor drive in. I put some oil in the hole. So hmm. 
too much oil in the hole now, it seems like. Flopping out. Gotta find a new oil ring for that. So, you guys will find that. And, uh, yeah, there she yeah. Okay. That's in there. Otherwise, I don't know how I would have put that in if I hadn't caught that. Okay. Huh. This is tight. I want to do it one more time. Yep. Those have been tightened, those have been tightened. Torque's been rechecked. We're going to smear a little silicone here and get ready to install the gasket. And this is where I see a lot of people go overboard. And uh, all you got to do is really wet the surface. There in the corner, I want to do it. up in there. It's kind of a tight area to get up into. I don't want no leaks. at the bottom end of this little guy hold on here a little right in the instructions and I just don't trust the gasket by itself. Okay. Close this up so I don't forget it. installed can't believe they just use cork but
Okay. And these get tarred down to a swapping six foot pounds. Woohoo! All got washers on them. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, I'm going to work on this. You guys don't need to watch all that. I think I figured out how I'm going to do it. I'll get that engine on. Oh, you guys weren't supposed to see that. I got one of these things back here. have to go on a bolt run tomorrow. Anyway, forget you seen that. <laughs> and here we are. Long block. Well, short, no, short block, sorry. Uh, no, nah, they wouldn't do that to me, would they? Man, I hope not. I just got thinking about that drive down in there. Hope that didn't have to be uh, in a specific spot. Oh no! Well, huh? I don't. Huh? Anyway, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But, uh, yep, there we are. Uh, only thing, one thing missing, oil pan plug. I just got that up there temporary, and I didn't get, I needed longer bolts for there. So I gotta go find two bolts in the morning, and then some bolts to go in the, that, and... I said I'll put that other motor on the floor stand, then I'll reset that one up over there to hold this, and I can degree the cam in. And then it'll be on the engine stand. Parts are eating up fast here. It's just going pretty fast. So I've got that all. So here's the rocker train, valve train. Those old bolts don't get used. That's all garbage. That's all garbage, so I'm down to that small amount and uh, the head and that stuff. So we're getting there. We are getting there. Anyway, I am going to call it the end of part four. 
This might be a five or part, five or six part. I don't know if we're going to get it started out of the car or not. If we're going to do that, that means I got to bring all the intakes and everything up, but we can't hook up the exhaust, so it may have to go into the car to get started. It's not the only way to do it. And I'm really hoping I don't have to order an offset key because timing marks were lined up when I put them in according to the piston. Let me check it one more time. Oh, nope, it's just as, okay. Yeah, we'll get the dial. It might be off a little because I think now they're just lined up. See, they're lined up now, but the piston just started coming down, so. Uh, my the way my luck goes, probably need to get an offset key. But uh, she's looking good. Starting to look like a motor again. Don't look like the same greasy, dirty dirt ball I took out. And I read the book, and there was nothing special about installing the oil pan. I just went ahead and put the RTV on it, as. I don't see how that would have sealed without it in the corners because the one cork seemed like it wasn't long enough and the other one seemed like it was too long so I switched them in for in still had the same thing so and I hate leaky motors I'd like to start this off the stand but I don't know if we'll get to anyway yep I'll get the cam degree in tomorrow once I know whether what that's got to do then I can either put the head on and start going through and setting all that stuff and it's hard to believe I burned up three hours tonight assembling the short it block but that was file fitting rings and, and fitting it it turns over want nice very nice um, To me, it seemed like I took a hell of a lot more off this when I tore it apart in the car, but you know, I got the exhaust and manifolds, all those springs and the linkage, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, which, I mean, that stuff's all, I'd have to take a box down and box that all up, and then we could assemble the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to run it out of the car just to get it broke in, but that also means I got a lot of hoses and everything, radiator, all that crap. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I guess we're moving right along finally on one of the motors. And uh, if you haven't noticed, it is like quarter to nine at night. I'm actually doing some night work out here at the farm. So, I had to. I got to get caught up. So, anyway, I guess I don't know much else. And, uh, there's a little note. The 454 guy got a hold of me and had some questions and I answered them. So, <laughs> Like he says, as long as it runs in the end, who cares? So. <sighs> Alright, I'm getting spacey, so uh, time to shut her down, go home. By the time I get these videos uploaded, and uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure when this one will go up. So, or went up, so. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care.